Excuse me. It's been two years since Biden's botched withdrawal from Afghanistan. Thirteen service members were killed in that deadly Kabul airport attack. A new book claims those 13 Americans never had to die. Jerry Dunleavy is with me. He's the author of Kabul, the untold story of Biden's fiasco. Jerry is with me now. Did our intelligence service know the name and location of the bomber in advance? It's a good question. So... What we uncovered while writing Kabul, my co-author James Hassan and I, is we went through thousands of pages of Pentagon records and we found that there are sworn statements that U.S. intelligence knew that ISIS-K was staging at a hotel about a mile or two west of Kabul airport ahead of the Abbey Gate bombing and that military commanders asked the Taliban to raid that location, but of course the Taliban never did. And on top of that, uh, there are sworn statements that U.S. intelligence wa uh, and U.S. military were tracking and searching for ISIS-K locations in Afghanistan and that a U.S. officer requested to conduct a strike against an ISIS-K location in Afghanistan before the Abbey Gate bombing, but that the request was denied by military commanders. It looks, at least in part, due to a negative response from the Taliban. Hmm. And on top of that, we, we now know that the bomber himself, whose name is Abdul Rahman al was in prison at Bagram. Uh, there were prisons at Bagram Air Base, and the U.S. abandoned that base in July yeah. 2021. <laughs> the Taliban freed him and thousands of other ISIS-K prisoners on August 15, 2021, and then he was able to escape and carry out that attack. And so the simple fact is that if we had simply held on to Bagram Air Base, that, yeah. that suicide bomber would have been sitting it, behind bars rather than threatening Americans. I, I remember this period very well. We were reporting on it in depth. Uh, it, it, it seemed to me that when America withdrew air power and withdrew intelligence services from Bagram, when we did that, the collapse was inevitable. That was the, not exactly the turning point, but that was the moment when the collapse accelerated. Am I right? I mean, I think that the U.S. abandonment of Bagram was very unfortunately yeah. the, the death knell of the Afghan yep. Republic uh, because, look, pulling U.S. troops in rapid fashion like President Biden did without a plan about how to get Americans out, without a plan about how to get Afghan allies out, pulling those U.S. troops in rapid fashion also meant pulling U.S. logistics and ISR and air support and advisors and contractors, all things that an already very weak and shaky Afghan military was built around. And so it was completely foreseeable that pulling all of that support, especially, by the way, in the middle of Afghan fighting season, because President Biden had picked September 11th, 2021, as the withdrawal deadline, doing all of that meant, and it was very foreseeable, that the Afghan military would collapse, that the Taliban would march on Kabul, and abandoning Bagram meant abandoning not just a safe, a safer place to do an evacuation, not just abandoning our final ability to project power in Afghanistan, but it also meant abandoning a place that had prisons that were teeming with ISIS-K terrorists, including one who would go on to kill those 13 Americans. It was a catastrophe, and that's a fact. Uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry Dunleavy, thank you very much for joining us this morning. I hope the book does well. We appreciate it. Thanks very much. Sam. Thank you, sir. Appreciate sure. it.